One of the things I've also done over the years is a crack injection or concrete repairs. There's a number of systems on the market these days. Epoxy ejection is, is a fundamental, just a, a breakdown, you could say, of the systems where you use a high pressure system or a pressurized system and use a insert and you drill into the concrete and place something that you're going to be able to direct the flow of epoxy or resins into a joint or crack, things like that. Epoxy injection is important. There's a number of companies out there today that have these systems and they do work well, applied in the right manner. I have seen where leaks happen. In fact, a, a, a hotel owner with a pool on top of their roof, and it's common, um, the leak started to appear, or leakage started to appear in the presidential suite. Not a good place to be. So, a uh, number of people have gone in there. They've tried things upstairs and out in the deck and waterproofing and caulking and a lot of different things. Well, we got a call after a, a very frustrated hotel manager gave us a call one day. And we went and looked at the facility. I walked and took me in the presidential very suite, very nice, very well decorated. One problem, in the bathroom and in the bedroom, water was coming through, actually just running down into the suite. Not a good rental situation. So basically I told them uh, we could stop this in a matter of more than likely six to eight hours of work we would have to have the area. He looked at her. You're out of your mind. You're crazy. That, that can't be. Uh, I said, if it's going to work, that's all we need to have. And I said, what we would do by injection, we'd have to drill holes into the ceiling, place our inserts, and do some injection using a, a urethane foam water tacking type of product. And what we would do is inject this solution into the concrete and form a barrier between the uh, existing deck and the pool deck because obviously there had been a, a breakdown somewhere in that waterproofing membrane that was originally established up there. But some simple things we looked at. Um, we went outside, we looked at the deck upstairs and of course there were these lovely, uh, I would say 20, 20 foot to 30 foot trees on top of the building. And I said, these were obviously much smaller when they were planted. Now they had a base of maybe 10 inches around. Just these were large palm trees. A lot of weight, a lot of weight. So obviously there had been some, uh, there was other issues there. But uh, I recommended them to look into this and their flower beds and doing some other work up there. But for the time being, our injection should stop the leaks. We did drill the holes. We went in. We did drill holes. Uh, he had a good laugh. Our first drill went into the concrete and we got an outpouring, almost like someone was holding a hose on us and spraying us. So needless to say, we had to switch to air drills because the water and electricity obviously don't mix too well. So <laughs> we didn't ever expect water to be pouring in that heavy. Well, we did our injection. We did many ports and we, uh, and we stopped the water. It stopped in about two and a half hours, completely dry. But to our surprise, we also found, after going around with some moisture meters, found water coming out of his electrical pipes, his outlets, moisture and mold around those. So the corrosion had gone so far, it had eaten through their conduit, and the water was now leaking into that conduit and traveling down the walls and into the unit also. So as a, as a repair, we injected more urethane foam, at least to stop the water from getting to those. But it just shows you how extensive damage could be when water and moisture and concrete are put together and in a design. There can be a failure over years of different things. The injection did stop the problem. 
he was very happy, very content. And yes, he promised us to do some major landscaping on the roof structure, getting rid of those large trees. Very interesting uh, project.